Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to a safety meeting gameplay series. Today we are continuing our survival in Rising World. Now kind of what I have on my agenda right now is I need to clear up this mess and get all of these guys indoors. Now we have a partial indoors now. If you were with us the last episode, we were getting a little bit of the, the cabin built and we kind of did a, a bit of a tutorial on how to do some of the, the trim work and stuff like that. And now you get to see what it looks like all finished. This is what we have so far of the cabin. We've got, that's going to be the front door right there. And I know right now it's like identical on both ends, but yeah, it's the basic cabin. So I think it's going to do okay. Now that everything is kind of together and not really complete, but definitely more complete than it was. I think I like this trim. I think that's going to end up being a really good color. And one thing that I can tell you is it makes such a huge difference with the view of having that half slab down here instead of the full. Because it actually feels like you're looking out a real window before you either get your view cut off from the top because the top of the window is at your forehead. Or if there is a full block in here, we wouldn't see any of this ground right here. So it really does open up the, the view if you use those half blocks in the windows. And as you can see, I did go through and I finished out all the the trim and the sill work and stuff like that. So that's what we've got going on right now. And uh, to give you an idea of what I think my future plans are for this place, I left this wall completely blank because I think it needs a nice big stone fireplace right here. Kind of what I'm thinking is maybe stone fireplace. I can't have a, a moose antler rack hanging up there because that would just be... That'd be very disrespectful for our friends that are hanging around out here. Wherever they might be. I think they're adventuring. I told them to go get resources for me, but I don't think they were listening. So, yeah, I think a big stone fireplace, and here's what I'm envisioning. Fireplace coming right up the center, and a really cool mantle, like a wooden mantle piece coming off either side. No, I've already had it pictured in my head, so I think that's going to look pretty cool. I hope so, anyway. So now that we have our partial indoors here, there's two things that I want to do. I want to get those things moved, but I don't think I have enough room. Yeah, we need to we need to get a couple of chests built, or at least one, because these chests have a pretty pretty giant capacity. So let's uh, make sure we're at the right table here. All right, we do have enough lumber on us, so that's a good thing. Let's see. I think that's what I was going to make the window sills out of a, originally. Can't remember. Oh, I love that color, so we're gonna go ahead and just make it out of that. Oh, we're already getting nighttime? Jeez. These days just fly by. Since we don't know exactly how we're doing this wall yet, let's go ahead and we'll just kind of stash this out of the way over here in the corner a little bit. We don't need to get too high tech here because eventually it's going to get moved. Right now I just need a place to dump all my inventory. I know we have a, a chest over there, but that's going to get moved, so I don't want to keep filling it. So we're going on an, a little adventure right now. So I am just going to get rid of everything. Anything that's non-essential to exploration, we are getting rid of. The one thing that I never do, because I always forget is to craft a few ladders before I go. Because if you fall into a little cavern or something on accident, you can always just use ladders to get yourself up and out of there. Let's see, so let's, uh, yeah, let's grab the lumber. Let's see what it takes to craft ladders. I haven't made a ladder in a long time. Where's all my stuff? Where's my stuff? All right, I'm getting lost on like a little quarter acre piece of property here. That's not good. What the hell am I making? Let's see, ladders. So you definitely don't need metal ones. So what's the difference between wood and old? No, I like the old ones. Is there a difference in, let's see, eight lumber? Yeah, same amount of lumber. Whoa, I didn't even know you could make short ones. I had no idea. This game surprises me every time I play. All right, I guess we don't need to get too high tech with our ladders. So, I don't know, I think I just made three. All right, so that'll be good for right now. Let's get this lumber stash because we're not going to bring it with us. What do I got for torches? Okay, I got it. Five torches. Okay. So we have our, let's see, our shelter. Make sure that's down. Okay. 
So we have a compass, so we're not going to get lost. No matter what we do, we're not going to get lost because we have our compass and we have our shelter placed over there. Now, if you're not familiar with the compass, if you hold down the K, that'll pop up your compass. Now, I know there's a way to keep that thing up there, but I don't know what it is. Because if you let go of a K, it disappears. But that little tiny red arrow that's in the bezel around the edge, you can see right over, right over there is where my shelter is. And that is where that little red arrow is always going to point. So no matter what, if we follow the little red arrow, not the big one that's pointing north right now, but the little one, we will always find our shelter. Speaking of which, let's uh, go ahead and go to sleep. And we'll go on a journey in the morning. And the only reason for the journey, not only do I want to explore just to kind of check everything out, I'm going to do some resource gathering. I'm just going to chop trees and grab veggies and things like that as I see them along the way. And I also see that I'm about to... I'm thirsting to death and starving to death. I don't think thirsting to death is a thing, but not grammar-wise anyway. All right, so... Oh, you know what? We need a canteen. I can't believe I forgot about the canteen. Hey, there's our moose. What kind of resources did you get, pal? You still need a name, don't you? Where's your backpack? I gave you a backpack. Ah, oh, you ate it again, didn't you? He eats the backpacks every time I give him one. All right, what do we got going on here? As you can see, I'm not good with multitasking. I haven't done anything that I've wanted to yet. I haven't moved any of these. I did get my inventory moved, so that's something. All right, so a canteen. I can't remember for sure where that's at. One iron plate. So, I believe we have that. Well, not the plate, but the iron. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we got a ton of... Oh, that's copper. Duh. I'm not doing good today. So, for the iron plate, we just need to go up into our anvil, and we're already set. You know what? I'm going to make two of those canteens. There we go. Now... We are set for some travel. All right, so let's go fill these up. Now, if I remember right, I think we have like a little level indicator. You can see that up in the top right corner, it always tells you what you have in your hand. So let's go fill this thing up. Now, remember, I'm not, I'm not by any means an expert at this game, so I'm always fumbling with buttons here. Okay, so right mouse click fills up the canteen, and now it has the level indicator to the right up there. All right, so that's how that works. So let's grab our other one. Beautiful. So now we got two full canteens. That should help us out greatly. And eating should help me out greatly. So one thing that we got to do while I'm exploring, we need to contemplate this roof. I'm going to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with that. Now for the roof, definitely... Something dark, maybe. One of my favorites, and this is how any cabins up north or anything that I've seen, or even the, the cabin that we used to have in the family, was always a green tin roof. And not only do I love the looks of that, the sound they make when it rains is absolutely amazing. So I don't know if that's an option in this game to make any kind of like sheet metal looking stuff. But we're gonna we're gonna find out. And then also another project is gonna be a porch coming up off of the uh, front door here. And I don't know, I'm probably gonna have the porch come out to like right about here. Just have a nice overhang to to check out this view. And probably another stair coming down. So I started to do a little bit of a trail right here. I just busted out the rake and I didn't do anything terraforming wise. I just got rid of the grass. And that was that was more for uh, bear control. Well, not control. Just at least so I can see them. Get rid of some of the tall grass. So, all right. Well, I guess we're we're starting our exploration. 
See, now this right here is exactly why I like to leave my my stumps. Because when I come home, right now, I'm not going to be able to see any of my torches or anything like that. So, here I've got my compass out, and I know that because of the compass, I'm heading the right direction. But as soon as I see these, I know, oh god, I'm finally back home. So, that's why I leave the stumps. In our exploration today, I will probably take the stumps because we're going to be far away from home. And that's just an extra resource that we can grab. So my stump leaving is functional. Alright, I don't know how long you can survive in the water. Should we test this theory? Alright, let's test this out. Okay. Make, look at the counter down below at what our video time is at. And we are going to go under and see when I start to suffocate. Alright, I'm at like 15 seconds already. Do we not die underwater? Oh, there we go. Alright, we're turning red. Okay, I don't want to actually die. Oh, okay, our health is going down. Alright, so you can stay underwater for a long time. Oh yeah, I'm gasping. I'm gasping. Okay, so that was my that was a little experiment just to see. Now we know. You know I think that, that ended up being about a ooh, there's a bear. I think that ended up being about 25 seconds. Oh, that's a moose. I just saw his butt and thought it was a bear. But yeah, I think that was about 25 seconds or so of being able to stay underwater. That's pretty impressive, I think. Okay, I'm just going to go start cutting trees down and stuff like that. Don't worry, I'm not going to subject you to all of that with the magic of editing and all of that fun stuff. We'll be able to skip some of the, the non-exciting stuff. Okay, so one thing that I want to do for right now is I want to make sure I keep the small red arrow to my back. That way I know I'm running away from home. Well, that didn't sound good. I'm not running away from home. I like it there. That means that I'm going away from home and... That's the direction I want to be. You know what? I feel like maybe I have the wrong tool in my hand right now. There we go. Oh, it's probably not going to save me from a bear or anything like that, but... Makes me feel better. Alright, so veggies, I'm not even going to harvest any actual veggies. I'm just using this thing and <laughs> this thing. I'm going to use my sickle and I'm just going to grab stuff for the... I want to beef up our garden. Alright, I wasn't sure if that was a hole or not. I think there's a moose up over here. I hope it's a moose. It's, whoop, wrong button. I am the king of the wrong button, so my apologies. I'm forever hitting the incorrect button. Especially when you go from game to game. You play one game for a little bit, and then you come back to a different one, and you're using all of the wrong controls. One thing that'd be really cool, I'm, I'm hoping that we find maybe a little ocean in our travels. Ooh, what do we... Yes, we have a bear. Okay. So we are going to go this way then. But yeah, if we could find an ocean, that'd be pretty sweet. What do we got here? Okay, that's just a lake. That's kind of a cool looking area. Right over there, actually. Oop. Doesn't look so cool anymore. Mr. Brown Bear, you like that spot just as much as me. So I'm going to let you have it. So while I'm thinking about it, and we're just kind of running around here, ooh, there's a sand biome. I wonder if maybe we'll have an ocean nearby. I I kind of brought up before the direction that this series might end up taking as far as survival versus building. 
right now this game being such early access it's not complete yet for full-blown survival so this game is really attractive to builders because of the uh advanced construction system and stuff like that and i think i mentioned it before that if you wanted to reproduce an existing piece of architecture you can do that in this game so for for building ooh, i think we might have found our ocean so apparently in order to find out if this is really an ocean or not it'll tell you that you can't drink this because it's salt water so let's find out. You cannot drink salt water. Awesome! We found our first ocean. Wow, that didn't take long. I mean, even in real time, I've only been hunting around for about 20 minutes. So, cool. Let's let's walk the beach this way a little bit and see what we find. So, alright, back to what I was saying. After that interruption by the beach. Uh, there's not really a ton of survival elements in this game yet, so... Our survival let's play will kind of slowly turn into more of building tutorials, I would think. Because as we get into the building, I, I have a hard time building and not explaining what I'm doing. And if I'm just doing the same thing over and over again, then obviously I, I, only, I only need to explain things once. But we'll probably end up doing a lot of new stuff with uh, the building techniques and things like that. So... I hope that's something that people are, are going to be interested in. I know in that last episode, I got some pretty good feedback about the fact that it turned into an accidental tutorial. So, and this whole series is almost geared more towards newer players anyway. And as we progress through, I think uh, it'll probably help out a little bit of everybody. Now, as I've said, I am by no means an expert at this game. Not at all, even a little bit. So anything that I show you guys is stuff that either I've learned accidentally or it was suggestions from everybody. That's really how I learned everything in this game was from, from suggestions from all you guys. Alright, what do we got here? I know this is a really cool area. I love those mountains in the background right there. So I, I feel a uh, possible beach house somewhere nearby. So you know what I'm going to do? Let's do this. I'm going to write down the coordinates of where I'm at here. Right, so if you're interested in writing down the coordinates of where you are, kind of like a, a point of interest that you want to come back to at some point, hit F3. Just hit F3 once, and you can see top left corner, we got position. We just want to write down these three numbers. Here, let me move my head here a little bit because I can't see that. There we go. Much better. We got negative 1127, positive 66, negative 116. So now we know we'll always find this spot. So I'm going to label this in my notes here, possible beach home. I'll just keep tapping F3 to get out of that. You're, you're going to end up bringing up about three more menus before you can completely get out of it. But that's how you figure out where you are in the world. Wow, this is really cool looking. It's like we're starting to get nighttime too. So I think we're going to end up doing some nighttime exploration. Um, getting back to the series again. Jeez. Oh, I'm all over the place, but get used to it. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite aspects of the game is the, the building part. And that's kind of what attracted me to it. I, mean, I definitely started out with this game because of my like for survival. But I knew it was early access and it was going to be a minute before we were able to do anything with uh, with full-blown survival. But I know some of the, uh, the upcoming updates are going to be very, very cool. So we're going to keep an eye on the forums and see exactly what we've got going on here. Let's see. All right, there's our apple saplings. Yeah, those apple trees, you want to make sure you grab those every time you see them. Uh, harvest the apples first, and then chop them, and grab those saplings, because it'll actually give you an apple tree sapling that we can plant back home. So I don't know if I want to go up there, or if we should follow the ocean. 
feel like right now if we follow the ocean, we're just going to be looking at a lot of sand. Which makes a little bit of sense. Let's see how deep it is. Since we know that we got plenty of time to swim. See, it's a good thing that we experiment like that. Wow, that looks cool. Alright, so we do have some vegetation and stuff down here. Very cool. And as I'm surrounded by water, I look over and see that I'm thirsty. So how many people think of water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink? Think of that every single time. Alright, let's try out our canteen for the first time. So I think all I need to do is just right click. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's experiment one more time here. Will it allow us to keep drinking or do we eventually get full? Okay, so it looks like we can just probably empty it completely whether we're thirsty or not. All right. That's what we're doing here. We're experimenting. Now, I'm not going to get the torch out, I don't think, because it's so loud. All right, let's do this. For the sake of you guys, let's pretend we have a flashlight. We're going to use the debug light. We're going to press L. And just for the sake of the video, so we can see... We'll use this. Normally, I wouldn't use this when I'm exploring. Ooh, there's an apple tree. But I think in, in this case, we can make an exception. Normally, the only time I use it is when I'm mining. And that's only because the color of the... The color of the torches is, is so orange. I miss half of the ore that... Whoop. I miss half of the ore that I end up digging by. All right. Let's see some tomatoes. All right, now these I'm going to, what do we got here? I don't even know what you are, but I'll take you. So the tomatoes will harvest those first, and then I think that's a fruit. Isn't a tomato a fruit? That's not a veggie. I think at my age I should know that. Uh-oh. Ooh, I thought we were going to lose it there for a second. I believe that's a carrot. Yes, it is. All right, so now we got some carrots. There's a lot of good stuff in this little area here. Now, one thing that you'll probably notice in this game, I'm not very systematic in what I do. I don't really plan anything. I don't have any kind of an agenda or anything like that. I just, I literally, I go out, whoop, grab the apples first. Literally just go out and whatever happens in the situation that I'm in at the time, I will react to that and do whatever we need to do. But I never go into any survival games with any kind of uh, a plan. <laughs> so if you notice, I'm not really prioritizing a lot of things. Not that that's intentional, but I just kind of wander around, see where things get me. Hello, Mr. Piggy. What are you up to? All right, I think I'm going to take it easy on the tomato plants for a little bit. Ooh, I think that is a cherry tree. Definitely want to grab this sapling. These are something that's relatively new to the game. I think the cherry trees came in our last update. <laughs> Did the cow just collapse? I think I scared the cow with the tree. Oh, he did collapse. I'm sorry, cow. That was pretty traumatic of me. Man, there's tons of stuff around this place. We hit the jackpot here. Ooh, pumpkin. I don't think pumpkins really do anything other than you can carve jack-o'-lanterns out of them. I think that's their only function in the game, as of right now, anyway. Oh, I thought that was going to be a giant hole. We're just going to grab that watermelon and eat it because that watermelon will help bump our health up back up because our, our health is still way down from when we did our little experiment in the water. So let's get up here just to see where we're at. If I can make it. There we go. 
It's one thing about our little characters in this game. We sure can't climb mountains well. <laughs> so let's get this watermelon and get our health back up. There we go, much better. Now, if we do get that chance encounter of a bear, we might survive. All right, we got a cave. Well, I wouldn't be me if I didn't just jump on in. Oh, I didn't literally want to jump in. They're so deceiving. See, that did not look like a 15 foot fall from up there. <laughs> hmm. Is this gonna be a cave of death? Ooh, ooh. There's all sorts of goodies in here. I'm pretty sure that's aluminum. That I believe is copper. More copper. All right, I think we found out where we're gonna hang out for a little bit. So let's do this. Yeah, we'll go ahead and wrap this one up for right now. And we'll spend the next episode gathering up some, some resources. This is going to be nice because then we'll go ahead and we'll probably make a couple furnaces. And we'll make it the wide mouth furnaces, I promise. And just start getting ourselves... Uh, and just start getting ourselves tons of resources here because that's really what I'm after right now. I want to start doing some building. Um, let's see, what do we got for... Yeah, I got to keep chopping a lot more trees. We can do that on the way back home. So I think I'm going to set up a little camp right here. Not literally a camp because I don't want my shelter to disappear. Because we're pretty far away from home right now. And I have absolutely no idea where that's at. Yeah, we're going to have to prioritize our resources here too. And I guess we'll figure that out as we go. All right. So, as always, I appreciate everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave me a like. I appreciate those as well. And I will see you guys real soon for some exploration of this cave in Rising World.